Hello folks, I'm Stan, WB2LQF. Today I'd like to share with you my uh, newest little project. This is the Crick Key. It was designed by Dave Kripe, NM0S, as a complement to his Cricket line of uh, small QRP transceivers. Thus the name Crick Key. I guess that's short for Cricket Key. It's really neat, folks. I'm very impressed with what it can do with only 19 parts. It, uh, it costs $25, 32 dollars 50 if you include shipping. And uh, it's fully adjustable in both tension and spacing, here and here. Very clever design. Takes about 30 to 90 minutes uh, to put together and doesn't even have an on-off switch technically because it only pulls one microamp so a 9 volt battery will last probably a year maybe a little bit longer I have to say once again I'm awful impressed with the gosh darn thing it has a really really nice feel to it uh, very pleasant to use and uh, with this potentiometer up here speed varies from approximately five words per minute all the way up to 55 now I didn't make any real changes to it other than the fact that uh, it came without a knob for the pot and my fingers slipped on the shaft when I would try to adjust it so I found this in my junk box put a knob on and over here I happen to have some um, extra finger pieces in my junk box and I glued those on with a little bit of Gorilla Glue this morning. Really a fine little piece of work here for uh, 25 bucks. So let me hook it up and I'll, uh, I'll send a sentence for you. I noticed that uh, there isn't a single uh, YouTube video on about this because every time I buy a kit I usually search YouTube and see if anybody else has done it first. Sometimes I pick up some hints or some warnings of what to do or not to do. Uh, but I couldn't find anything on a Crick Key, so I'm here making one up now. Okay, back with you in a minute. Okay, here we are. So we're plugged into uh, my KX2. And the box is off, so we're just going to use it as a... Uh, as a monitor here see that little LED keeps keeps uh, time with the dits and the does here's the slowest it'll go now that's pretty painful isn't it on the other side of the pain scale here's the fastest it'll go And I think that, uh, nah. yeah, I like that right there. These adjustments here, okay, you got a little, uh, a little screw nut up here. You loosen that, you can turn this disc to uh, change the spacing of the, uh, and, and the tension of the paddle between these two uh, uh, adjustments here and this big uh, screw goes through this uh, this thing here forget what they call it as I say it's a clever design uh, you know I mean the, the arms are PC board and the whole thing weighs nothing the uh, base here uh, the unfinished uh, an unfinished wooden base is uh, supplied I stained it and put about eight coats of polyurethane on it and on the bottom I put an anti-skid mat so it doesn't slide all over the glass top. All right. So let's give it a go here. <laughs> 